Okay, guys, now this is the, uh, I think this is going to be the last part of it until I show you the mold, I mean, the actual doll's head. As you can see, I totally covered it with the um, mask, uh, I don't know what kind of tape is this, you guys know what it is, uh, electrical tape, just to make the, the mold a little stronger because I'm going to be doing a lot of balancing. Uh, so what I've done is I took a bag of rice and I poured it in the head. I've already measured all of this out, so I already can tell you. But I poured it in the head, measured it out, and for once it came out even, uh, all the way to the very brim. And it came out to be three cups. So I split three cups the way I wanted it. This is going to be part A, and you can see where the line is. Part B, you can see where the line is. And then this is going to be for my silicone fluid. Okay, so I only want this is going to measure out to be three cups exactly. So that the way to measure this without wasting your your uh, silicone is to measure it out with your rice. It's the best way to do it. So that's how I measured it out. I know you know exactly how much I need. So I'm going to put this aside. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pour A and B in here. Okay. Uh, and use plastic spoons if you can, guys. This is another one. Look, the, all these I brought so a whole kit full. Bought them to make flowers. So this one is going to be a. I'm gonna mark it on the can also. So make sure that I know. I'm just gonna write A on here. And I know that's B. I'll just put B on here. Okay. So right now I'm just going to put A right here. I fill it up to the black line that I had measured out. Now this one I had already used some of it out, so there's not much left in here. So I'm just going to use what I use the rest of this, and then I'll open another one. These are one pound uh, little containers here. You really do not want to waste this stuff. Like I said, it's uh, $44 for two pounds. You get part A and part B. I guess you guys can tell I'm left-handed. I do everything pretty much left-handed. I can use both hands, but okay. There's part A. Well, it's not quite full yet. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, that's up to the line. Okay, okay, there's part A. I'll close this up. And I've also marked my top of my lids because sometimes I'll get them confused and you won't be thinking. Okay, so there's A. Now I'm going to mix part B. I'll throw this one. I'll throw that one in a minute. Okay. Can you guys see? Let me this here. Okay, make sure, I oh, need just a little bit more. Just 
just a little bit more. Okay, this should be right there. Yep, okay, got it. Okay. Okay, those over there for a minute. Okay, and silicone fluid. Now normally, what I need to do, well, you know what, I put rice in this, so hang on a second, let me rinse this out real quick. Dry it out. Hold on one second. I'll make sure to get this right. I don't want any dirt or anything like that in there. Okay. So what I want to do is put it in a bigger container because I want to mix the silicone fluid with the part B before I mix them all together, okay? Don't want to play around with this stuff either because it hardens on you. I think they say you have three minutes to work with it. I'm not sure. I think, but I'll have to look it back up. I used to, I used to know it all. I forgot it. Okay, now here's my silicone fluid, and I want to put this much where the line is. There we go. I'm going to mix these up. Okay. Like I said, you don't want to play around with it. You want to mix it as quickly as possible. And I also want to put my flocking in there, which is this right here. And you only use a few pinches at a time. And I want to put a little bit of the red in there to have it more realism. You can see that it's going to turn colors. See, start the turn. Now I need it to do a little bit more because I still have to add the A part. So, okay. Okay, so you can see the color now. It's hard to tell, but here's. Here's what it started out, and that's what it looks like now. So now what I need to do, make sure I mix that in really, really good. Okay, and then mix in part A. As you can see, I'm trying to hurry now. I need one of those long sticks, and I have one, but uh, those paint sticks. I want to mix it really, really good. See the color? You can see natural skin color just like my skin okay so then what you want to do you don't want to play around with it because it doesn't take long at all to start hardening okay I don't know if I spill this I'm gonna be upset with myself so I'm gonna take 
with this right here. Okay. Okay, so I want to pour it in my head, but I want to go really slow, as you can see. And I'm not going to pour it all in there at one time. I'll move it around. Okay, and I'm going to pour some more in there. And the hard part is making sure you get any bubbles out. So, for a little at a time, burp it and burp it and burp it and burp it. That is such a huge thing. Okay, so move it around some more. Now I got my son home back today. Back home today, he ju we just went and picked him up. I'm sure glad to have him home, and that means he can help me burp this. Normally, I like to do it all at you know the legs and the arms when he's home to help me. I wish you could see inside. So you can see, you know, when the bubbles come up. So far, so good. Now, you know, on a cleanup on this here, when you get it on the cabinet and stuff like I did right here, Real easy cleanup. Just let it dry and it just peels right off. You can just lift it right up. Now you want to keep doing this, keep doing this, keep doing this, keep doing this. It's so important. This is probably the most important thing that you can do to save your baby from having the air bubbles. But if it does get them, I can show you how to, you know, to remedy that without throwing the whole dog first ones that I made, I threw the dolls away because I didn't know that it could be fixed. You can see, if you can see, I can't, it's not going to show her, it's going to spill out, but it's going to show you the bubbles that are coming to the top when I'm doing this. So, and the only thing that's left to do is to let it dry. Now tomorrow, I'll be back and I'll unwrap it for you and show you, you know, what happened to it. And hopefully it turned out good. If not, try, try, try again, guys. Hi, Adam, come here. Come on. <laughs> Need help. <laughs> Hang on, guys. This one is up. Hi, Adam. Hurry, Bubba. Hold this up, please. Hurry. I don't know why, but it doesn't look like it has enough in there. And I measured that perfect. I might have to measure on just a little bit more out of there. There. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it just a tad bit softer. Just a little bit. 
silicone here. Okay, let's get them full with the right all I need. Just want to stir it up a little. Okay, let me put this back out a minute. Okay, hang on guys. I want to stir it up really good. All this is going to do is make my baby softer. So, I can't wait to show you guys. Now, you don't have to do that. I just didn't mix it as much as I thought I did. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Okay, Adam, can you hold the head up just like this, honey? Just like that, please. Thank you. Okay, can you, when I tell you to, can you bounce it? Okay, go ahead and bounce. Okay, now oh, it's got to be harder than that. Okay, can you pour it and let me bounce it? And make sure I get it all over it, everywhere. See in here? Okay. Like I said too, guys, this is not the professional way to do this. This is just a way that I found. Go ahead. It's just a way that I found to do it. It's cheaper. Go ahead, baby. Pour. Okay, well, that's enough. That's enough. Okay. You definitely want to make sure there is just no bubbles. And I see a bunch of air bubbles coming up, which is really good. Really, really, really good. Hey, come here. I need you to pour some more. It's not hurting this in any way. Okay, pour some more. You can put that spoon in the cup there and then go ahead. Okay, hold it a minute. Okay. Now the whole time that this is drying, I'm gonna be bouncing. Believe it or not, it'll take about, oh, I don't know, the, the more silicone food that you put in there, the, the longer it takes to, to dry. So I'm going to leave it till tomorrow. It will be dry, you know, in just no more than two or three hours. But to be on the safe side with the, the silicone fluid, okay, Adam. Whoa, 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 whoa. Want to tap it as much as you can. Any bubbles, any air bubbles that you can get in there, get them out. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and pour all the rest. Get the spoon and um, break it out. I don't get it all over me. Here, you tap this like this, and here, hold this up, and I'll do this. Here. Okay, hang on here. As you can see, it's starting to thicken up already. See, it's starting to really thicken up, so I need to hurry. Adam, can you bounce it, bounce it for me while I'm scraping this? Okay, keep bouncing it. Okay, now tomorrow I'll show you the results. Be careful, it didn't come outside or anything. Okay, all right, see you later, guys. Yeah.